Hi, I'm Kate Gruber, a curator here at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown, and I'm going to be speaking to you today about my favorite object in our collection. So I'm here in the galleries at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown to show off one of my favorite artifacts in our collection and in our gallery here, and it's this sandstone fairy marker. Uh, what's a fairy marker? Um, well, when you think about the time and the place that this marker was created, um, it has a date on here, 1813. The waterways were really the highways of the young nation. And so the population of the new United States really relied on the water system and the ferrying system um, for, for commerce, for travel, for um, picking up from the East Coast and moving, um, internally migrating into the new interior of the country. This ferry marker would have been embedded on the exterior walls of a ferry house owned by a man named John Krepp in South Brownsville, Pennsylvania. And that was right along the Monongahela River. And if you look at a map today, you'll see the Monongahela River is really the opening of the American West in 1813. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at the ferry marker itself and uh, you know try to pick apart what it's really showing us here. Um, so the first thing that you see are stars. And we have 17 stars on this ferry marker and there's one representing each state that was in the Union of the United States at the time in 1813. Next, you see the word liberty. Always an important word when we talk about the new United States. Um, thinking about this being right after the War of 1812, not too far removed from the American Revolution itself. So we see that word liberty emblazoned on the ferry marker. Next, you're seeing a bald eagle. The bald eagle, just as it is now, was an important symbol of the new United States, even in the 19th century. In his talons, of course, you see arrows, and arrows of war, of course, and you see um, the olive branch of peace in his talons as well. Going below all of that, we see sheaves of wheat. Thinking about the new United States and its economy and its agricultural economy, we have the sheaves of wheat represented here. And then we see the plow, which is a very much part of the agricultural economy too. And then we see an image of the ferry itself right here on the ferry marker. So let's dig a little bit deeper because when we see the symbols on this ferry marker, it's really easy to think about it as being a symbol of the American dream. We think of manifest destiny, we think of moving west, we think of the new United States growing away from the east coast and into the interior of the continent. But again, digging deeper, I told you that this ferry marker once lived along the Monongahela River. What does Monongahela mean? Well, that very word, Monongahela, isn't an English word. It's actually an indigenous word, meaning, uh, meaning place of falling water. And we have that word as a survival today from the Lenape Nation, um, who were pushed out of their homelands because of Western immigration. Um, and so as much of an important story um, that this ferry marker is for our story here at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown, thinking about westward migration, it also has an important story to tell about the impact of western migration on indigenous tribes like the Lenape. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit that like button below and subscribe for more.